if you have backyard chickens and you live in a cold climate, you need to make sure your little chickies stay warm during the winter. So today we're going to use some tarps and some good old fashioned nails. And we're gonna get our chicken coop nice and warm so that the warmth from all of our hens keeps them from freezing to death because it does get pretty cold up here in the inland northwest. Doesn't look very pretty, but the chickens don't care. They just wanna be protected from the wind. So that's what you gotta keep in mind. Whether you have these tarps, whether you have some kind of fabric, some kind of plastic, even feed, uh, feed bags, old feed bags, you can shove in between your open spots in your coop. Whatever works to keep that wind out is key. We're just using any old tarp that you can purchase at any hardware store and we're nailing it to the frame. And uh, you can keep doing this year after year. And this will keep the wind out of the coop, which is the key. Obviously, it can't be totally insulated. In our situation, we don't have an insulated coop. But keeping the wind off of the poor little hens will keep them a lot warmer and more comfortable when all the snow hits. Glad we're getting the chickens nice and warm right as the snow hits. That's, a, that's what you get when you're homesteading. You can't control the weather. We thought we had plenty of time. Ooh, it's cold. Teamwork makes the dream work. fingers are about to fall off. This side we're going to keep it open because it's mostly covered already by our black paper what what was that again that we used when we built? oh yeah roofing paper it works really well insulating both summer and winter we didn't have any more which is why we're using tarps for the winter wind during the summer though this black roofing paper really kept the heat out and it also keeps the cold out in the winter so it's very versatile We got to do some uh, mucking here. We're going to add some fresh, whatever this stuff is called. <laughs> what is this called? Huh? What is this stuff called? What? This stuff. It's called bedding. Bedding. <laughs> My chickens like to lay eggs in random places. Hey, Thank chickens. You You can see, and they don't look as bad as they did earlier in the fall, but before winter hits, you'll see some of your more mature hens molting, losing all their summer feathers, and then they get their new winter feathers on to keep them nice and warm. What we're doing now is, um, because the chickens are going to spend so much time in here over the winter, we're going to attach the feeder with the chain up on, what are these called? One of these beams. Oh. So it will be hanging their feed instead of stuck on the ground, which we probably should have done a long time ago. But we're going to do it now for the winter so that they don't kick all their nasty stuff into their feed. Now that, now that we've attached the, uh, what is that called? 
the no, eye the eye, eye socket socket <laughs> to the beam <laughs> we'll be ready to attach the chain so that we can hang the beater <laughs> we're just going to use some carabiners <laughs> let's see how much we can rhyme on a dime you got any carabiners you know, the, our favorite commercial right now is uh, the one with Snoop Dogg and what's his face where they're sitting on the beach Corona and Balm Breeze <laughs> A Corona and Calm Seas <laughs> Balm Knees and Calm Trees <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. That's that keeps all the nasty stuff from getting kicked into there, which has been happening all summer. Oh, why didn't we think of this sooner? It's okay. We're saving you the trouble. You'll see this and you'll say, I'm going to do this from day one. That's great. Chicken feed. We like the uh, Purina brand. Laina layer crumbles. Our hens like the crumbles versus the pellets. They don't like the pellets. Make sure you get something with oyster shell in it, which is really good for the chickens. And you don't have to get Purina. Maybe your local store has a different brand, but you want to look at the nutritional value don't just get the cheap stuff because it's cheap what you feed your chickens you get out in their eggs We found the best thing for keeping chicken feed in is these tin aluminum cans with the heavy lids. Keeps the varmints Keeps out. Keeps all the critters out. And then we have scoops. And we have the great scoop that really is easy. There you go. When you're getting your chicken coop ready for winter, you don't want to shovel out their poop. You want to just mix it in with some fresh bedding because it actually insulates naturally. So what we do is just empty out half a bag or so, depending on the size of your coop of this bedding, rake it in there. And uh, you might do a refresh midway through your winter if you have a long winter like we do, or you might be set till spring. Either way, the chickens are gonna be so excited. It's gonna be nice and fluffy and warm in here. <laughs> They're gonna be all set, ready for winter. Oh man, that stuff really has a lot of dust. Yeah, section. You okay, ladies? All settled for the night? Mock, mock, mock. Some food. 